What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big Boy Fat Johnny. Tonight, I'm going to do my WWE SmackDown review on highlights to guys new. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, give me four likes on this video. Let's get started. Now, SmackDown itself was a solid show, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. All right, let's get started. We're kicking things off with Roman Reigns promo. This was a fantastic promo. The show kicks off with none, none, none other than Roman Reigns, who, who comes out with Paul Heyman and Jey Uso. We get a video package going over what happened at Elimination Chamber on Sunday. Rain says that that's that as the the head of the table he step he steps up and say and saves this place. He 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 did just that by defending his WWE Universal Championship against Dan Ryan, who it who he smashed who he smashed. Warren says says it was the most exciting Exciting, you know what, woman of the year, maybe, maybe the decade. However, his defense wasn't perfect due to Edge showing up. He tells Edge to back out since he has a beautiful family, and Reigns doesn't want to worry him. Get get it through that thick head of yours. This is why a man like you just doesn't stand a chance against stand against a man like me. Roman Reigns proclaims. Roman is then interrupted by Dan Bryan, the leader of the Yes Movement. Take the um, umbrage and umbrage with Reigns' deception of their match. Bryan mockingly says that Reigns deserves to be celebrated, but he but he heard ram, rumor ramblings that other people found Reigns' actions cowardly. Dan Bryan says the head of the table should face him at the main event rather than right after the elimination chamber and that is and that it shows he isn't a true champion brian offers roman a, a chance to prove everyone wrong by facing him for the belt at wwe fast lane on march 21st now i don't mind this daniel bryan versus roman reigns at fast lane for universal championship i don't mind that at all that's just my opinion but anyway Jay Uso then takes the microphone and tells Bryan, Daniel Bryan that he is he's at the back of the line now. Uso tells Bryan to face right hand man before trying to get another title shot. Reigns then stares down Daniel Bryan and says, "You really want me want me to hurt you again?" Uso then cheap shots Daniel Bryan and throws him over the barricade. This was a fantastic promo. But anyway, it says after the commercial, after a commercial break, Reigns tells Uso that there is nothing for him to apologize for as long as he gets the job done. When 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 then sees Edge talking to Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville, Adam Pearce confirms that if Daniel Bryan beats Jay Uso later tonight, he'll get a title shot at Fastlane. That was a great, that was a great segment by Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. Anyway. We move on. Ray, Ray, and Dom, Ray and Dominic Mysterio versus Otis and Chad Gable. Decent match. It says um. It says the win. Hold on. It says the show. They show a video of Otis virtually attack Ray last week and getting disqualified. The match begins with Ray facing Otis. The much bigger man used his size to his advantage and throws the legendary luchador around the ring. Gable keeps Otis from getting disqualified and not stopping at the ref's count and tags himself in. Ray tags his son in, who impressively out grapples Gable and hits a tornado DT for a near fall. Ray tags in and hits a senton and then father and son hit a dual 619. A big frost splash appears to have the match won, but Otis breaks up the pin and gets tagged in. Otis catches Mysterio and slams the smaller man. Otis then goes to the second rope and hits the huge splash for the win. The winner of the match, Otis and Chad Gable defeat Ray, Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Can we all agree that Heavy Machinery needs to, be, needs to get back together? That's all I gotta say. Let's move on. So we get Apollo, Apollo Crews. I love Apollo Crews as a heel. Apollo Crews earned this strike, so I got to get credit for what it's due. I love this Apollo Crews as a heel. But I wouldn't mind Apollo Crews getting the Intercontinental title 
match against Big E. I don't mind it, but I love how Big E is getting serious. I just want to put that out there. Apollo Crews comes out, and we get a video package recapping his his match against Shinsuke Nakamura last week and the sub, sub queen's attack on Big E. Crews says he will... He, he says we saw the real him last week, and that is ancestry in Nigerian royalty. He shows off a scarf with Nigerian colors and says they stand for weather dominance and, and power. Cruz then starts talking with a Nigerian accent, and Nakamura, Nakamura thankfully interrupts. So we get um, Apollo Cruz versus Shinsuke Nakamura. This match itself was decent. It says Apollo Crews attacks Nakamura before the match is about to hit him with the steel steps, but the referee stops him. We then go to commercial break. Then the match is in progress once we come back and Crews is in Crews control. Nakamura battles back into the match and lands in some impressive kicks in a sliding knee for a near fall. However, Crews is several German suplex to we regain an advantage. After a slide snap suplex from Nakamura, Cruz goes outside to the ring and slams Nakamura, Shinsuke into the steps. Nakamura managed to lock in a sleeper, but Cruz holds onto his scarf in the corner and get out of it. Cruz hits the angle slam for the, a three count and wins. The winner of the match, Apollo Cruz. The match was decent, but the promo itself was fantastic. Tamina Snuka versus Liv Morgan. This match didn't really need, didn't really mean nothing. The winner of the match, it says Tamina Snuka, the winner of the match. But anyway, I'll go over it. Tamina is joined by Natalia and lands a big super kick on Morgan, who has Ruby Riot at ringside. Morgan dodges and attack, then gets in some offense of her own. She goes on to the middle rope and lands a drop kick. Tamina kicks out of a one count and then lands a small drop. Tamina grabs Morgan and then lands a back. Whole slam for the win. The winner of the match to me is Snooker. This match didn't really mean nothing. So, we get Bianca Bella and makes her decision. Alright, we ex we, we're expected to get Bianca Bella a resume decision next after a commercial. Anna Pierce and Sonya Deville welcome Bianca Bella to the ring. It says her life has changed since her Royal Rumble win, and Deville asks her who is she choosing, Oscar or Sasha Banks. Bella says, says her choice is clear but she interrupted by Carmella Samuel Reginald. Good old Reggie says Bianca saw how Banks can perform perform firsthand when they tag together and says they are journey has been inspiring. You are special and we are all in A W and all because you are living your dreams says Reginald, but I know deep in my heart that if you decide to face Sasha Banks at WrestleMania, then that dream will be dissolved quickly into a horrible nightmare. After Reginald says Bianca will be nothing more than a loser. After WrestleMania, Banks then does decides to come out. Sasha rips the microphone out of Reginald's hand and then push him away after telling him not to speak for her. Banks says she has more than the champ. She the she's the standard and Belair will choose her if she wants to be the conversation the conversation. Bianca Belair disagrees and says Banks will eat her worst at the greatest stage of them all. Bianca Belair vows to show show she's the strongest, greatest, fastest and all the all others at, at others at WrestleMania. Alright so Bianca Bella chose Sasha Banks. I like that. So Baron Corbin, Sami Zayn versus the Street Profits. Decent tag team match. It says the winner of the match, the Street Profits. So let's move on. Seth Rollins cut a fantastic promo. Burn it down. Seth Rollins comes out for his entrance, and we immediately go to commercial. Go to commercial break. A shirtless Cesaro, Cesaro wearing blue jeans interrupt Rollins, who is dressed in all white. Rollins says he never said Cesaro was a loser, just just a loser in a situation he, he was in. He tells Cesaro to stay in the in the center ring like the star that he is star that he is, and he make he make it up to him. Rollins t talks up Cesaro and then asks him why he always seems to come up 
short. What is that? What is that you are missing? I will tell you what is it is because I have it. It's called Killer Instinct. I have it and I can give you give it to you. Says Ross. It I come back to SmackDown and to lead it to the future. And I will start if you will let me buy let me be let me buy leading leading you. Let me buy leading you. Cesaro asks the to embrace the vision. But he swing Rollins instead. Corey Grace has the line of the night by saying that Rollins is probably seeing triple and that you can embrace three visions. Cesaro follows up with a huge swing of a cut and then leaves. This better not benefit Cesaro. Seth Rollins doesn't need nothing. Just like TM said. Alright, so we get Daniel Bryan versus Jey Uso. Bryan earns a title shot. Fast Fastlane if he beats Jey Uso. This, this main event was decent. Brian controls the match early and it and it's taking it to um, Reigns Lackey. D Brian, Daniel Bryan lands his signature kick in the corner and then hits a hurricane from the ropes. Brian attempts to dive by side on Uso, but he counters it with a super, super kick. Uso then slams Brian's knee on the announcer table and then still posts. We're, we're left wondering if Brian can beat the 10 count as as the commercial break arrives. Daniel Bryan is shown clutching his injured knee inside the ring. He almost locks in the yes lock, but Uso powers out by punching his opponent's knee. Bryan gets a second win and lands a running knee to the outside. He attempts to get to the top rope and then miss. Bryan's knee buckled and Uso then drop kicks the injured. The injured. They, Jay then locks in a half crab on the knee, and this is a great main event. D, Daniel Bryan rolls to his back and kicks Uso and gets out of the hole. Bryan hits a big kick to the Uso's head for a two count. Bryan does the yes chant and then runs straight into into Jay Uso child block, taking out his knee. Jay is in control and goes to the top rope. However, Bryan pushes him off and climbs up the ropes himself. They both stand on top and Brian hits a butterfly suplex and then rolls into the yell slot. Jay Uso managed to get to the top rope and rolls out of the ring after a submission is, is broken up. Then He then managed to throw Brian into the steel steps. Jay Uso holds Brian and proposably, proposably ends the match in a double countout. The winner of the match I mean, I'm sorry. Daniel Bryan and, and Jey Uso draws. This match was a draw. The match is over, but Bryan locks in a yes lock, and Reigns come out to attack Bryan. Roman Reigns hits a huge spear and then locks in the guillotine as the show ends. Now, SmackDown was a solid show, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE do SmackDown review of Hots, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok down below in the description. You guys have a great weekend. My name is Big Boy Fact Johnny. Have a great night. Stay safe. Stay strong. And remember, always stay positive. And I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm out of here.